it's a two-phase fight, really. I mean, um, you just have a fight where you and the storyline of Shadow of Raven fights the main antagonist, Raven. Um, during the main phase, pretty much, you have two healers, which is Satil Sean and Laura Benenko, and two tanks, which is Darth Mar and Jakaro, and then Theron Chan and Shea Vizsla are your DPS, and then whatever you and your com companion bring. Pretty much, you don't have to worry about wiping in the main phase. He has three abilities. One is Mass Affliction, the second is Force Choke, and the third is Dual Saber Throw. Now, the Force Choke and the um, Dual Saber Throw, you can try to interrupt if you want to because those are just annoying for the most part. They'll just CC you or one of the other NPCs. I believe Dual Saber Throw can actually CC multiple people, so it probably has the highest priority because I think it just knocks down whoever it hits in the line that it goes through. The second phase is really the only thing that determines whether or not you wipe this in solo mode. At 65% and at 35%, he will pull everyone into the center of the room, and then he'll knock all of the NPCs out to all of these pillars that are on the very outside of the ring. And in the middle ring, two fissures will form. A purple one, that is a dark side fissure, and a um, light blue one, which is a light side fissure. And to get your um, NPC friends out of the being trapped on those pillars, you have to go to um, whatever fissure they're marked with. Like all the light side players will be marked with a dark side. So you got to do the opposite to let them loose. Because Revan will be holding the light side people with the light side um, force field and the dark side people with the dark side force field. So, it's color-coded, though, like, um, Jakaro, Theron, and Satil will all have purple underneath their feet, which is, um, for the dark side, so you'll pretty much know, run to the purple fissure to unlock the people with purple under their feet, and vice versa. Benanko, Mar, and Visla, you all go you'll go to the light side fissure and they'll have light blue circle underneath their feet. And that happens twice at 65 and at 35 percent. And pretty much that's the only thing that determines whether or not you wipe. For the rest part, I mean, you can go ahead and engage and have fun with the fight. Or if you really want to, you can just shoot Revan once and then just watch the NPCs take him down. If you want to be energy efficient. But anyways, now that I've explained it, I'll just kind of, um, start the fight and do try to talk while I'm doing it. This will be the end of you! I will see you break! As you can this see, you can get CC quite destiny. a bit by him. Oh, a good scrap. You are sealing the galaxy's fate. And of course, as you can see, interrupting those saber throws is actually easier said than done. Galaxy's fate. Let's go, people. You cannot deny me. It is over. 
over for you, Revan. I must have my revenge. The force is my servant. Sealing the galaxy's fate. And here we go. And he knocks them out, and then there's your fizz there's your fissures. I usually get the dark side fissure and set Satil Sean loose first because she's a healer. And then I'll go get the light side and get Benenko for the same reason she's a healer as well. Because once you got those two set loose, then you're pretty much good to go after that. Then you can just be kind of pick and choose whoever you want to give. Like, I'll get the dark side because I'm closest to Theron here. And let's see. Okay. See, so once you got your healers loose, you've pretty much got it made in the shade at this point. Because now you can just take your time and get the people loose as you can. Oh yeah, another thing, if you if you if you run through the light side fissure and then through the dark side fissure, it will damage you. And if you get near Revan with either, it'll damage you as well. Okay, almost got them all loose here. And there we go. Back to the, just the regular phase now. I have come too far. And the never ending CC again. This is my destiny. See, like I interrupted the first one, but I wasn't going to interrupt the second one. You cannot deny me. I will see you break. As soon as I drop, twin cyber throw on me. Nope. I have come too far. Okay, and we should be getting close to fissure time again. Yep, here we go. And one more time with the fissures. Okay, where are you, Satil? There's the And Lana Benico. Okay, now I got my healers loose. Okay, and I'll show you what happens if I got light side right now and I'll watch what happens when I run to the dark side. Okay. See, not cool. Okay.
Okay, and Jakaro. Which, for him being a light side Wookiee, he does have qu quite the bad temper. Of course, maybe all Wookiees have a bad temper for all of them. All! I mean, he even seems a little bit worse than Chewbacca, who, which is the only good Wookiee I guess I've ever met other than Bodar. But even then, both of them is kind of edgy. You are sealing the galaxy's fate. I won't let you win, Revan. I must have my revenge. Be strong. You are sealing the galaxy's fate. Keep fighting. Let's go, people. See, as you can see, you could really just sit here and do nothing, and the NPCs are kind of beating. So it's just kind of fun to play. Keep fighting! You are sealing the galaxy's fate. It can't be. And that should just about be it. Bam. And that's the Revan Pup. And of course, there's no story. I already did that earlier. I just did the weekly Clueless version, so there would be no spoilers. Okay, there it is. Enjoy.